Okay, uh, disappointing day for us. Um, and uh, obviously we uh, didn't execute the way we wanted to um, for this uh, particular game. Um, you know, I just talked to the players in there uh, in the locker room and talked to them about uh, the ability to uh, focus and the ability to fight, you know, for, for each other. And we got to keep this thing tight in our locker room. Um, that's the most important thing. There's going to be a lot of outside noise, um, as there always is in the NFL. Um, and uh, we've played three games so far uh, in, in the, you know, in the season. So uh, if the guys keep doing that uh, individually um, and keep working, um, then we're going to ha- have this thing crack. Uh, we got a great opportunity ahead of us. Uh, we got two games in 11 days. And uh, so we're going to focus on that and focus on being, uh, being the best versions of ourselves every single day uh, as we go through practice this week. Um, got to take a hard look at this tape um, and evaluation and uh, make the corrections uh, that we need to make. And then uh, we got to move forward and keep getting better. So, uh, again, like I said, it was a, a tough game today. And uh, how we respond to that is going to be uh, important uh, for each individual man uh, in the locker room, each of each individual coach. Uh, we got to make sure we take a look at ourselves and what we can do better and how we can uh, execute and uh, put a better product out there. Matt, when you look at this team on paper, it's full of talented players, someone like DJ Moore, even Justin Fields. So logically, the onus thing falls on what is the coaching staff not doing. From your perspective, what is it that you all are not doing that you should be to get this ship right? Yeah, I would just say that we got everybody's got to take a hard look at what they're doing, you know, in terms of the, the schemes we're running, what we're doing, uh, just to help put up. We're, we're char- in charge to put our players in position to execute. And that's what the coach does, and develop the players at the same time. And uh, we just got to do a better job, you know. And then, the, you know, then it's all also on the players because it is a partnership. Both of us together, um, the execution, the product on the field is always player and coach. It's very rare that a game gets that lopsided that quickly in this league. How do you describe what happened in the first half? Yeah, I mean, uh, you know, we did a, a decent job at the first, you know, series on defense. You know, we end up uh, then uh, had some takeaways there at the end. Um, you know, we end up giving a couple of drives up. You know, there gave up some big, a uh, couple of big plays there. Um, you know, and then really the takeaways at the end there gave up another ten points. You know, so that's where it got kind of lopsided. Um, you know, it was a little bit difficult. You know, playing that skill, we lost some DBs um, today. Um, got out of some of our packages. Um, you know, so that's what happens when you when you lost three corners. Uh, but uh, other than that, it was uh, it was you just got to execute better. Now, now what, looking back on it, you know, what toll do you think the wind had on it? Um, you know, the guys hung in there tight. They were tight. They, they were they were together. Never any you know dissension or, or finger pointing or anything. I don't. I didn't think. I didn't feel that it was effective. You know, affecting us at all. Uh, to be honest with you, that that locker room is tight, and it's going to have to be tight now. I mean, there's going to be a lot of outside noise, and we got to do a great job of just staying together. And what we do is what we have to do on the practice field. We got to do it there. We got to take a hard look at the corrections that we need to make. You know, for this for this particular game, and then where we're going in the future. Like I said, we got you know two games in 11 days, and that's going to be a big part for us uh, this season. Matt, what problems did you see in Justin's game today? You know, uh, problems. I mean, I saw that you know a couple good execution plays that he had, a few execution plays that he made some good throws. You know, and I you know it's not always on him. You know, so there's some. Uh, it's always you know it's protection, right? It's the routes. It's guys uh, you know running. You know the routes the correct way, which they did right for the most part. We got to do a better job there of just executing as a whole unit, not only on offense but on defense. And special teams was solid today, but uh, certainly on those two other groups. Well, what about an honest assessment of his performance, of Justin Fields' performance today? Yeah, you know I'm going to go look at the tape. You know with it, I have to go look and see every play because every play is really by itself. You know there's you know when you look at a play, you know there's a there's a a call, there's a motion, there's a protection, there's a route. You know, and then there's adjustment to the route, so you got to look at every single one of those plays. Matt, when, he, when he gets hurt in the goal, or gets shaken up in the goal zone, yeah. and he goes out, what was the decision that went into putting him back in the game? Well, he was cleared, right? So he came out. We were going for it on fourth down there, uh, but he came out. So then I decided to kick the field goal, right? And then, uh, and then he was cleared, and then he was ready to go. Matt, there was a delay of game coming out of a uh, possession change. How does that happen? Yeah, that, that should not happen. That should not happen. Um, we should be on point there. We should be ready to go. We should snap that ball. Now, I thought he snapped it on the, on the you know, because they usually give him a, a heartbeat tick there after that. Um, so um, I thought he did that. So and that happens all the time in the game. 
When you talk about the outside noise that you know is coming, it's going to be mostly negative. What do you look at and say, these are the positive things that we've done? These are the things that I'm proud of that we've done in this you know, year and a quarter or however long it's been. Yeah, there's been some good things. I mean, there's been some good drives, right? We saw some last week, right? We saw some at the, the second half here. So there's been some good things, uh, you know, with that, you know, and also so def defensively. There's been some good things and good moments in there. I mean, it's got to build upon that. Like I said, this is a new football team. We got 30 some new guys that are coming together that are playing, you know, the game together for the first time for three games, you know, so um, it's a process to that. Um, it's certainly not where we want it to be. But to get there, we're going to have to have focus. We're going to have to have fight. We're going to have to have uh, be resilient. We're going to have to block out outside noise. You know, you, if you're, you know, we're going to have to do all those things. You know, and then keep a positive, optimistic attitude about it as a group. And if we do that, guess what? If you keep doing that, it will crack. It will crack. And so that's the biggest thing. That was my message to them in there. And like I said, the opportunity we got coming right around the corner. What gives you optimism that that 0 3 right now, with the way this has gone, that it can turn for you guys? Yeah, just the work patterns. These guys are working. These guys are working. Like you said, we got talent. You know, we got some talent on the squad for sure, and uh, we just got to keep working. Coaches got to keep working, right? We got to keep putting players in position to make plays, right? Players got to keep working, right? So it's about being determined and having that determined attitude, okay, and the can do attitude that we can get this done. Matt, are you going to bring in anybody else on the coaching side on defense? to help whether it's meetings or, or to coordinate? Yeah, that's certainly something that we could do and something we're always looking at. You know, we'll always look to evaluate that. Again, this is a new process for us that, we get, that we're that we going through right now. But, uh, you know, if we feel that it can help the squad, you know, help that side of the ball, we'll definitely do that. But, again, we'll look at all options as we go and make sure it's got to be the right fit. Why do you need to do that, though, if you're going to do it? Um, you know, it's, it's a process. We'll, we'll talk about it. We'll, we'll figure out where it is. Now, why hasn't this come together faster? You're three weeks in and saying it still is coming together. There's been a lot of preparation that's gone into this. It's the end of September. Why aren't you guys better? Yeah, I mean, I think maybe it was maybe because of the preseason with all the injuries that we had. We didn't have a lot of play together. Um, you know, that's obviously real. Um, you know, we didn't get a lot of chance to play in the preseason the way we wanted to and practice like we wanted to together in terms of the offensive line, in terms of the defensive line. Uh, linebacker there's there's a bunch of guys that were out and that's just where it was you know so that's the adversity that we had and um, that could be a reason uh, but I'm not saying making excuses because we you know we should be farther ahead you know but we you know are playing together for the first time practicing together for the first time so um, you know you're gonna, we're going to see it come together but you know that has to be have to be a, a determined attitude and we got to do a great job of working every single day. Justin, should Justin be farther along now? I mean, it's his second year when Getze, he was not hurt during the preseason. He was at every practice. Yeah, he's like, again, there's no one more determined than, than uh, Fields. You know, Justin is, is working his tail off. And again, uh, we're finding, you know, the, the flow for him. And we just got to keep doing it. You know, we got to keep doing it. You know, we got to find, you know, how to, you know, let him do his thing and explode. And again, it's not just about Justin, you know, it's about it's about everybody on the offense, you know. So we just got to keep doing that and it's not just about offense. We got to do a better job on defense. You know, if we stop stop them and give them short field and take the ball away, um, that that's the job of the defense to make it easier for the offense. You know, you got to keep doing that and our guys know that on defense too. Two more. With the game day elevations, why make those two guys, especially the safety, elevated? And then make them inactive today. I felt like you could have used that depth with all the. Yeah, yeah, we were just worried about you know potential injuries, you know, but we just you know wanted to make sure we had those guys available to us if we needed them. Last one, Patrick's play today for them. Uh, uh, it's about, Mahomes. Uh, yeah, it's about like I've seen in the past. I mean, you know, he made some off script you know plays. You know, certainly, the throw on third down on the um, on the sideline was 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 uh, was a good play by him. Um, and again, we had him in the pocket a little bit, and he extended some plays. I thought our coverages were good. Um, in those moments, and we just got to do a better job of staying on our matches, you know, in the scramble drill, and then working him, keeping him, working him in the pocket. So um, that's what I saw again. He played, he played outstanding.